The single most important lab test to measure longevity is called MVX, which stands for Metabolic Vulnerability Index. There are no labs that run this right now, and in this video, I'm gonna explain why. There are two main reasons. But first, let me show you what this test measures. On the left, at the y-axis, we have cumulative mortality incidence. And on the x-axis, at the bottom, it's years of follow-up. Over the course of five years, thousands of people have been tested on their MVX, their score, and the score is between zero to 100. And you can see at the orange line, at the top of this graph, these people have a score 75 or greater, and their cumulative mortality incidence is at 60%. So the higher the score, the worse off your health is, and the sooner you're gonna die. At the bottom, we have two green lines, and both of these groups of people have a score of 35 or less, or just a little bit more, up to 44, and their cumulative mortality incidence is less than 10% over the course of five years. All of these groups of people are around the age of 60 to 62 years old. Age is not that important to determine how long you're gonna live. This graph right here shows the relative contribution of these predictive factors about longevity. At the very top, it says MVX and it's pink and it's 69% contributing to the predictability of longevity for these individuals, thousands of people. Below it is age. And age only contributes 17% of the ability to contribute the predictability of longevity. Some other factors would be heart failure, the, the absolute disease, and then GFR, which is kidney function. So having frank disease does not even predict well your longevity. It's MVX. This is also true for LDL cholesterol, HDL cholesterol, ApoB, and other lipids that there's all kinds of YouTube channels, MDs, PhDs, they talk on and on about lipids, lipidology, cholesterol, lipoprotein A, that's their whole career, and that's barely a factor to predict longevity. Here are all the factors for MVX. The first one is number of small HDL particles. Yes, HDL is a lipid, and the best way to correct HDL we're not talking about LDL, we're talking about HDL. The best way to correct that is with animal fats. The next three factors of MVX are listed here at number two, leucine, isoleucine, and valine. These are amino acids. Obviously, these have to do with nutrition. There are two more factors left of the six factors of MVX, and one of them is glyca, and the other one is citrate. Glyca measures how much infection you have in your body, and citrate measures how much toxicity you have in your body such as heavy metals, for example. In my career, I figured out the seven-step blueprint to optimal health, and it lines up exactly with the six factors of MVX. So in order to take care of those small particles, ketogenic diet, in order to take care of the three amino acids, you take vitamin B1, and this is rampantly deficient in our culture. And then in order to take care of glyc A and citrate, you wanna clean up your body. You wanna get rid of all the organisms and all the toxins, and in my seven-step blueprint to optimal health, that's in steps three through seven. And then the last step is O-optimization, which also helps get rid of toxins. Now that you know what MVX is and why it's important, why is no lab running it? Well, it's been run on thousands of people in order to get this data that I showed you. And the company that ran that is LabCorp, and that's a nationwide chain. And the people that ran the studies were the NIH, National Institute of Health, and they ordered the labs through LabCorp. What's special about testing these six factors is they have to be run through what's called NMR, which means nuclear magnetic resonance. And so these are not regular amino acid testing or regular lipid testing. These are NMR tests of all six of these factors. This is the guy that spearheaded these studies. His name is Dr. Bill Cromwell. He has a lab that called Precision Health Reports. They do not run MVX. And I emailed back and forth, not with him, but with somebody at the lab, and the main reason why they're not running MVX for you or for me is because they're waiting for consensus. What does that mean? They're waiting for some leader to say we're running it or we're not. We're not in a free market when it comes to healthcare. And if this was a free market, there'd be independent labs springing up that would just run this test. I could order it. Your regular medical doctor could order it. And then you could tell whether or not your body is healthy. And if you're at that age of 60 or 50 or 40 and you want to know how healthy your body is, MVX is the way to do that, then you can start taking the steps to reverse the chronic conditions such as chronic infections, chronic toxicity, 
malnutrition regarding B1 and regarding the, your mitochondria. And I go over all the details about repairing MVX in this video. And I also put this video at the very end too. There's also this guy that I called at the NIH. This is the actual web page of the Department of Lipoprotein Metabolism Research. And there's the phone numbers right there. I called him up, he picked up the phone and I requested, hey, I need to run MVX for myself and my patients. Can you run that? He said, no, it's not available. And he gave me the second reason why this test is not available. He said it because it does not measure disease. And I told him, yes, I understand that. It measures a state of health or lack of health. And when you think about that, like that's not what medical doctors do. They don't improve health. They don't know what to do when they measure health. There's no process of improving health in standard medicine. They treat diseases and symptoms in labs with chemical poisons, and that is not improving health. Now they can save your life, but once your life is saved, then what? Then you have to improve your health. So there's two labs that could run MVX, but they don't. I've talked to five more labs and nobody's willing or able to run it. And understanding that the NMR machine may cost 50,000 up to $200,000 to get the type of machine that you need for this kind of process. But I also talked to a guy who works at NASA. They could run it, but the NASA medical doctors would just run straight to the NIH and ask them. And the NIH people are going to say, no, don't run it. So if you know somebody who has a lab that has an NMR machine or has the wherewithal to acquire an NMR machine to run MVX, that'd be amazing. Let's get this going because at some point you're going to want to know What's your MVX score between zero to hundred? And here's the math. It's right in the research. All we need to do is get those six numbers through NMR testing, plug it into the math, and then you get that score zero to hundred. We need a guy like RFK Jr. For example, who has the wherewithal brain power and understanding and possibly the power to get labs to run MVX. We're just waiting for somebody to say, yes, let's do it. And if you know somebody who knows RFK Jr., send them this video, Dr. B. I figured this all out at the far left. we got the seven step blueprint to optimal health. And then the next column is the six factors of MVX. They all line up. The next column is labs that you can run at the various stages. The next column sort of green is therapies. And then you got the symptoms. And the last column is the courses I've made over the last nine years that address all these factors. They all line up. Not letting people run this MVX lab test is a bit criminal. There are people who are really ill. They need to know where to address their health improvement concerns. Do they need to take B1 to decrease their amino acids in their blood? Do they need to detoxify to reduce citrate? Do they need to focus on um, a meat-based ketogenic diet in order to improve their small HDL particle size and lower that? Having this data is super important and there's a small army of doctors ready to tackle this. We need to grow that army bigger and bigger. The pharmaceutical companies, sorry, you're not gonna like it because people will be getting healthy and it requires nutrition, and supplements to reverse these six factors. At the very end here, I'm giving you the video where I go over the six columns, so please check that out.